Hey gang, welcome back to Transport Fever 2 on the Lonely Pines map. You're here with Van Ham, as if you wouldn't be. <laughs> well, as if you would be, more of the case. Uh, what are we doing? Well, we're riding this service again. I just love it that much. Uh, no, look, we've got a couple of things to fix on it before moving on today. We do have one town that is not connected on this map to anywhere with public transport so we need to address that asap uh big shout out to josh carter from ford gaming um you have mentioned uh previously that we do need to start doing updates uh, you, you set a challenge to update all the trains on here before we hit uh what 2000 maybe i forget i, I can't remember what date but uh i don't think we're going to make that but we definitely do need to take your advice and upgrade everything uh, because i had a little bit of a scout around and holy moly there is some old stuff getting around the other thing is i don't mind having a couple of legacy lines in and around the place uh but more of that later back to this service mgl and chris fowler thank you very much for your suggestions i asked last time out what uh what we should call this actual service uh and i've utilized a little bit of column a and a little bit of column b of both of your suggestions and this service is now called the west x pax x now you're probably wondering why because both uh both suggestions were to call it an express and the other one was to call, call it an explorer and for good reasons one for the explorer for the distance it travels which is quite uh uh, we, well, we know it travels a big distance, so uh, that is predominantly uh, a great suggestion and one of the reasons why it's in there. And the other one is a express because it does express between a, a few towns like Calbarry, um, Nightcliff, Penguin, and then Burnie and Bongaree, that sort of stuff. And then the bigger distances, it's more explorer. But the fact that it goes Townsville to Burnie makes it such a big train it's pretty much an explorer so there's a little bit of column a a little bit of column b in both of those so that's why we've gone with the west x pax x now to say thank you to both of those gentlemen for their suggestions what we have done is we've named the mgl train right here and we've named the chris fowler right here Okay. Oh, they're about to pass each other. Isn't that cute? Uh, so thank you very much, guys, for those suggestions. And if you have, uh, if you have some suggestions, when I ask questions later on, you know, I'll try and throw your names in as a service or, or as one of the vehicles or, or name something after you in in recognition. So thank you very much for that. Okay. The the trouble I had last time out with this line was we couldn't put a signal over here, and it was uh, causing mischief and mayhem. I'll get to that straight after the break as to why and what happened there and it's uh it's quite an odd one and I was like how the heck has that happened until I figured out why and we'll get to that right after this. Well here we are on train 62 doesn't have any sort of name uh, uh, but if you would like to have train 62 named after you let me know in the comments below and I'll name it after you first person to say I want train 62 in the comments below will get train 62 named after them <laughs> okay <laughs> I don't know why I just felt like saying that only because we're riding on board as well and why are we riding on board it well it's pulling through Mackay if you want to look this our service goes Bernie Bongaree Penguin Nightcliff Cowberry there's a there's a mess down here let's turn some of this off shall we let's get rid of uh we don't need planes boats turn that off turn those off turn those off um factories as well yeah turn some of that off turn a lot of that off we can just take it as we need it yes it's actually come back through the station uh it's actually it's it's bringing itself back in for a service or so you might think but it's not it's actually doing a turnaround it's gone all the way down here to turn around to go back along that way. And why is that? Well, it's such an odd thing. When I first saw it, I was like, what is going on here? I then brought up the, um, the line itself. We'll bring up the line once I can get the train. Come on, train. You can stay on there. And then uh, we managed the line, and I was like, okay, lower ping. Okay, let's start where we start. We start at Burnie, don't we? Yep, Burnie, Bongaree, Penguin, Nightcliff, Calberry, Townsville, la di da da You get it, and then back. Okay, that's all good. 
why is the line, you can see it running through here, coming through here, and I was like, what is going on here? And I'm like, I can't, there's no stops here, there's no service, there's no, it's not stopping at Mackay, it's not even stopping at Rocky, until I figured out that when it pulls in to the station here, it doesn't have a way to get back out onto the same line. So it comes in over here, but doesn't go back out the same way. So, we have to now address this little problem here, which I think we should be able to do by just putting in a, uh, a crossover. So I think this should hopefully eradicate this problem. I think we can go from about here. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get in a... No, no. Are we able to cross over? No, because it's a bit awkward, isn't it? It's a bit orky Momo. Try again. Oh, there's our diamond junction. Okay, let's take that if we can. Auto save. Immaculate timing as usual. And then we'll be able to see if this actually alleviates the problem of the trains doing a blooming, a blooming loop. Do we need to slip that? Oh, just slip it all just in case, okay? Double slip it, triple slip it, do quadruple slipping if you have to. Just... Also, you know, remember when you turned everything off? Yeah, I do. Okay, alright. Leave it alone. Hey, hey! <laughs> we are fixed! Oh, thank goodness for that. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> the poor people were having to go, hang on, that's us, that's us, wait, Bernie, we want to get off at Bernie, wait. M Rocky? No. God, I haven't been to Rocky in 20 years. What? Mackay? I didn't even think Mackay exists. What? Are, why are we in a train? What is going on here? <laughs> you, know, you know those people that panic when they're on the train like they've they've got, they've got forgot their stop? Oh, that's, that's like that moment. Anyway, so that's fixed now. All Gucci and all good. Now we should be able to, in theory, put our signal back in down here which I wanted to do last time. Right, let's see if this breaks it again now. And we're all good. Oh, you know it's magic. You know it's magic. It's magic. Right, okay. So that should make that service just a touch quicker as well and get the people lifted and shifted. Let's just check on here before we leave how our passenger services are. Wow, we've got a lot of people here at Bongaree Holt. How's our buses doing? Do we need to up the ante on the buses then? Um, You're coming in with seven. No, you're not doing too bad. Thirteen. I think the buses are handling things okay, but Bongaree's definitely grown in size since we've done that. How about the fact that we had a hundred people waiting at a stop at one point? Which we don't anymore. I'm pretty sure it was like I'm pretty sure it was one of these stops, but it looks like we've cleared the people out, which is good, okay? But definitely growing in size, isn't it ever? Okay, you can turn that off for me again now. We don't want the people sign everywhere. Right. I think all is back to normal. Yes, so the West Coast x pax X. Okay, so thanks very much for that. Holy snapping duckfish, we might even need to put more trains on this service. Yeah, okay. Stop, hit, just stop doing that. I, wanna, I always hit escape like I want to get out of something, but I can't. Alright, so enough of that. We'll come back and check on that very soon. Um, one last thing, I don't know if I explained it, but uh, down here, MGL, you said that uh, there was a uh, garden stuff going through the tunnel. I've alleviated that. I've fixed this problem. It's because we had a lot of houses building along here and pushing the mountain in. Well, I've actually utilized this tool here and I've slipped one of these down inside the mountain like such, okay? So I've put one of those in there so people can't actually build along this thing and push the mountain in again now. They can build up on top here. Yeah, fine, whatever. That should be fine. Uh, but down on here, no. Okay, you want to build, build somewhere else. And they're starting to, they're starting to move inside here, which is exactly what I wanted now. So that's really good. Also, right, before we start turning our attention to getting this, uh, back on this line, where we want to get the freight down, 
let's uh let's look at little poor old Humpty Doo here. Now the Humpty Doo could turn out to be one of the most prettiest towns on the map, I think. Just pure location, you know, mouth of this uh this river. Uh, you've got Innisfail over here and Alice Springs over there, but it's just got a really good outlook and a really good spot to sort of grow in. Nice sort of little bit of a lake here, big farm around. I think it's just a really pretty spot. It doesn't currently have any connections uh, publicly. I thought about train. It's not really set up to receive or send trains easily or to make it look good if it did. Gold Coast, we don't have trains running into. We have trains running to Sorrento Townsville, and then we have a train bypass that runs here. It really only lends itself to a uh, like a bus service. So if you want to get to Humpty Doo, it'd have to be via a bus service. Uh, and I think we could set one to go into Gold Coast, and we could set one to go to Innisfail. And I think that's all we have to do for that for the time being to get them off and running. Uh, we are going to have to upgrade these roads. We don't want to have just country roads everywhere for the poor, uh, the poor uh, Humpty Doo. I mean, country roads are kind of cool though. But uh, I think they definitely need an upgrade before we do it. So let's go to our tool here, upgrade. We'll give them medium, which is 80 clickety clacks. Okay, let's go like that. We don't want you going that way. We'll have you come this way. We can't send you there. Maybe we send you up and around the farm that way and we leave this purely like as though it's part of the farm. Okay. So, if that's the case, give them a turn off here. Like such. Okay, see if you can come through fairly flat, yeah, like that, yep, exactly like that, down here, uh, and we can leave the country road mostly for, uh, well, for private people, I guess, that want to use it, and uh, no, let's, let's, cut, let's cut through here, this way, and down into here. Okay, leave a bit of forest there, uh, and we'll leave this purely just for more like farm and our trucks and so forth, okay? Right, that'll be nice, we can do some more trees along there and fix all that, clean all that up. Give it a little bit of a, give it a little bit of a smoothage now. Okay, that's good, not too much. And then we'll put a waypoint over here as well, just so our, our bus knows where it's going. You will go this way, and you will like it. It's the bus. We'll give them two. Okay. Yep, lovely. Okay, so where are we going to put out? We need a yeah. Uh, we need if we, if these guys are just going to have buses, we need to give them a fancy little bus, you know, city bus uh, terminus, terminal, I guess. I mean, realistically, the Greyhound one is perfect for something like this, but it just doesn't have the capacity. Uh, that we need so it's going to have to be a custom made in-game one like this and we're gonna to have to give it buildings and so forth and such and things and stuff and I mean we could do the setup that we did over at um, is it uh, Bongaree where we do a drop off at the Greyhound and a pick up at the custom one uh, that's not a bad option because it, it really is like a the Greyhound is like a city to city commuter right so we're looking at our people here this is they do not have a lot of residential. Residential's down along here along the water, which is fine. So they'll push more that way. I th I'm thinking we could potentially occupy the middle of town a little bit and push everything out further. So that being said, let's put our bus service in the middle of town. Okay, we're doing it. We're gonna be blowing up a lot of high, a lot of places. All right, so that's the Greyhound. Downtown Greyhound. Okay, and then give me this as well. So this is actually going to sit, um, connect up to there. No, 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 what are you doing? You're gonna connect like this for me. Okay, sorry. The AI keep wanting to build in and I just keep saying no, 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 no. Okay. Now you're going to follow the same little 
straight out of here. Now you'd think I would go straight ahead there, but I actually kind of wanted to have the same sort of... I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? No, I want to make this complex. The Greyhound complex. Or like the bus, uh, the, the city commuter complex, right? Uh, if you choose to put your buildings in and around it, I guess that's fine. But you're a bit silly if you do it right now. Put it that way. They're not going to fit in. We can start to put smaller ones in though. I want to get as many of these in as we can. We can't. That's enough. Okay, so we are going to do a drop off here. You're kind of silly. It should be dropping off and picking up. Yeah, but I, I like the fact that the Greyhound service can be like the main building and it can be a drop off in, like it pulls in, drops off, then comes in here and picks up. Okay, because the capacity on these is not great. That's all. And I like to use the model a little bit more, whereas here we've just given ourselves a bucket loads more capacity. Okay, you could probably, don't know if this is going to work, but extend that. Yeah, okay, that's going to work. And then we can get that on there. Wonder if we could get a bigger one there. Auto save. Howdy. You know it's magic. Can we get a big one in that place? No, just not quite. Bugger on toast. Can't even do that. No, okay. That's fine. We'll leave it like that. Oh, you can put the smaller one back in. Now, if you were doing this, maybe you should flip this around a different way so they connect it a little bit better. Right, so. So, what I'm thinking is you would have it more. It would need to be more like something like Think about your complex a bit better. Yeah, okay. Let's pause. Let's redo the whole thing because I'm not happy with it. Let's clear this whole block for us. Okay. This is our commuter block. Right. If I have... If I have the Greyhound terminal like this... Yes. Um, it's a tough one. What I'm trying, what I'm going for here, basically, I'd like the building facing the way it should. It's just not going to happen, is it? You realistically, you could set it up this way, like this. Okay, you had it, right? So put it in. Okay, and then what? Well, this is where it gets a little trickier. We want the buses to come in and drop off, and then come around and pick up. Ooh, okay, yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah, except make that not so horrible. I guess that's acceptable. Acetable. Okay, configure. Give me a little bit more. You know, we could go a one way. Back out this way, and then it links like one road here. Like that. Ooh, now that's intriguing. And then you can put bigger buildings like this in the middle. Oh, yeah. This is much better. This has turned out a heck of a lot better. Okay. Then what? Then. Hook that up to there because it's an intersection. You could give a little bit more dangle of the dangle. That's not the same height. Uh, hmm. I don't like when it does that. Idea. Better idea. Hook these two up first.
Oh, I see what you've done there. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Ah, uh, that's a bit better. I'll take that. I can accept that. Can you accept that little? Yeah, yeah, that's fine as well. Okay, that'll be fine. Right, that's our new bus complex for Humpty Doo. Okay, that'll get, that'll get built in and around. We can hit play again now, actually. That'll get built in and around. It's got connections either side of here, so you can see it's got great connection everywhere. Everyone can walk to it at the moment. Humpty Doo's not a big place, we know that. Right, where's our central uh, passenger stop? inside of Innisfail. Well, it's not really, but they can do a drop-off to the main train station here because there should be a service that travels around Innisfail itself. So that's perfect. So first stop there is going to just come over the bridge and in here, but we want to upgrade this road as well, I think, too. Who would have thought this was such a complex uh, situation for these guys? Right. I like how you've got a little bit of an on-ramp there for going over. So the bridge is about to get an upgrade. Heck, yeah. Uh, no, leave that dirt. Right. Look at these old trucks. Definitely need upgrading. Then the next, so we've got that line going in here. Where's our bus stop here? Because there is a main stop in town here. This one. Perfect. So that's our main stop for the Gold Coast as well. And from there, they can get a tram or a bus or whatever to wherever else they need to go. If they want to go to the airport, that's fine as well. All right, so we're getting you guys hooked up now, Humpty Doo. Let's get a couple of services in line. New service from. Now, you are going to pick up from here. This is the big thing. Pick up. Let's start here. We'll make you, let's get you green as well, just so we can see what's going on. You're going to pick up here, but you can pick up from any, anyone, please. Then you're going to swing past here. And then past here. We don't need to put both in, I'm sure it figures that out for itself. And then you're going to drop off here, pick up here. And head back out now so when you come in ah yeah we've switched this the wrong way around now haven't we so it comes it comes in has to do a turn drop off has to do a turn whereas if we had it the other way around Um, if we had it, so, if it was face, if it had to come in this way, it would work. Okay, switch this whole complex around. Even though I got it exactly how I wanted it. You guys are doing my head in. Okay, even though I got everything how I wanted it, we didn't quite get it how I wanted it. Right, so you're now going to come in this way. Okay. Yep. And you're going to go this way. Give yourself a bit of clearance. Actually, you can do that for us. Could have it like on that angle. That's horrible. Though. Just see how you go with that. See if you can get a connection there. You can, it's horrible. It's... I mean, you're better off almost doing that, aren't you? But we don't want to do that because we're making this one complex. I'll tell you what you are doing, you're making it way too complex. Let's do that. That'll be better. <laughs> you're making it complex the wrong way. Street access. Well, that works, but we don't want that either. Uh, give me street access. Hmm, what you haven't done is given yourself enough room. Comes with the territory. I, I got an idea. I'm 
I want to delete that bit. Yeah, okay, good. Make this longer. Longer, faster, stronger. Ah, yeah, that'll work, okay. Right, so this time it should come in. Let's get you guys connected up. And then we'll get you connected up to this street. Okay, I wonder if that's now going to work. Let's bring up our line. Holy snapping duckfish, let's fix this, okay. Humpty do, let's get rid of you. Right, so. You're gonna come in and drop off here. Then you're gonna pick up here. And then you gotta go back out. All right, the pickup's fine. That works well, right? Works well. The drop off, because the station's back to front. Okay, let's see if we can switch you to one. What do you do there? That's a little bit better. I can accept it comes in, pulls up, goes out. Okay, that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. That works for me. Um, We're going to then... Do you want to do that? Oh, I want to tell it to. I want to tell it at Humpty do, Upper Humpty Do. You are only loading people. You're not unloading. Okay. At at Humpty Do Exchange. You're not loading people. You're unloading. Okay. That works for me. Perfect. All right. Um. So that's our little complex. Also, you can put your buildings back in now. Passenger. Yes. Thank you very much for that. Can we get two in there? No. You can get a couple here, one there. That's all right. That's all, that's okay. Except, acceptable. Okay, and then I can decorate all that. People will probably want to move in there weirdly. Oh, look, it's they've given themselves a tree. Lovely. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, we'll definitely decorate that a little bit more. Oh, someone's put a house in. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> building a couple of houses in here, you know, at the bus terminal. You know what? We'll... we'll We'll think of them as little coffee shops that have been put in or something like that. Right, this line is now called the PAX. Uh, we're doing, oh, forget the naming convention, the style that we do here. PAX, then the actual vehicle itself. PAX, bus. And this is what? Hump, oh careful, Hump GC. It sounds like a, it sounds like an advertising campaign to go on holidays at the Gold Coast. Hump, Gold Coast. Hump, Gold Coast. Okay, uh, that's it. That's it. That is it. Right, and we'll have to get a couple of buses on there. What we could do is we could put a uh, actual building. If we're doing some kind of a service here, will one of these fit in? Give me, uh, give me leave the black roof for me. Give me that color building. No, give me the black. Actually, to match with the Greyhound, shouldn't we? Realistically. Is that going to fit in here? Would you? And you don't need to be tram, you can just be bus. Do you fit in here for us? No. That's a bit of a bugger. Yeah, okay. Not quite big enough, but that's okay. We might slot you just across the road here as part of the same complex. How does that sound? We're up in here. Up in here. Yeah, okay. Right. Part of the Greyhound complex. You get it. <laughs> okay. Right, let's get a couple of buses on that now, and then we can set up the next line. Also, do you want to change the color to that to be pink now? Uh, yeah. Okay. Finish the line. Make you that. Okay. Perfect. Buy a couple of vehicles. Passenger buses. What have we got? The Burkhoff Devedek is the way to go, realistically, isn't it? 23 capacity. We need a. We probably need something that's like more of a Greyhound style, don't we? But these guys aren't. They're not too zippy between areas. This one's okay, the Man SL1920. 
too, but it's not really a cross country sort of a bus, is it? Neither is the Berkhoff, it's more a city commute, but it does 90 clicks. It's restricted to 80 though, ham. Okay, we'll go with this one, the man. Give me eight to start with. Now you are going to be Pax Hump. Oh, the first bus for Hump. Okay, and they should start rolling out now. The first bus is in Humpty Doo. Roll out. Okay, lovely to see. Next one, we're going to go here. It's a short. It's a bit of a shorter trip for these guys. New line. Uh, so we're doing. Yeah. Dropping off here and coming in here. Now, you are deciding to come into here and go that way. Yep, I'm okay with that. Yep, we're going to leave you at that as well. And we're going to make you, uh, ooh, we'll make you more that. It's about the same. We'll make you a bit paler then. Well, it's still pretty close, isn't it? Yep, yeah, it is, but deal with it. Right, packs. Bus. Hump in. Hump in. Right. Is that what we're doing? That's exactly what we're doing. Okay. And then you want to tell these guys also manage the line at exchange. You are not loading, you are unloading. And at Humpty Upper Humpty Do, you are not unloading, you're loading. Okay. Lovely. Right, and these guys are going to get a different bus again. It's a shorter trip, so we can afford to give them a slightly different bus, and it just mixes up that line a bit. We could give them the fishbowl. Yeah, it's a bit old school. I mean, we are hitting, also, we are hitting the 90s almost. Ooh, you're right, you're not wrong. The fishbowl, the twin coach. That's 1942, you're really going backwards there. The BK670 was a 76. 86. Not really a banana bus sort of trip though, is it? It's more the man trip, but we'll go. Let's put the fish bowls on this one. The fish bowls or the. At the Mercedes Benz. What was this made? 54. It's a little bit old, isn't it? We need some new buses. Uh, capacity of 80. Let's go to C60. We'll go 8 again because it's got a less capacity than the man. Okay, packs in. Packs hump in. Do they ever. Okay. Right, and they'll start rolling out now as well. Look at that. Lovely. And then our little bus terminal is up and running for Humpty Doo. I'm really happy about that. And then hopefully the town will grow around that and all sorts of fun and wonderful things will happen from that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How much could you waste doing that? A lot. We could waste a lot. We need to address this. This is going to be coming in the new in the in the few episodes time. This is all getting a rework. Okay, stay tuned for that. Right. The thing we need to start doing is getting a connection from these tools that goes all the way down to this freight hub down here. Uh, and I'll show you why. Because we need to realistically start getting well tools down here also uh, and. Not to mention, I want to start getting, you can't really see because I've got it turned off. Um, here. I want to start getting some of this iron shifted down this line for the factory. Because we're just not getting enough iron down here. Okay? It's, it wants to consume 480, but it's, it's, it's just a backlog at the moment, right? We're only, we can only supply with one iron mine at the moment unless we... Well, we could fly it in, but I'm not going to fly iron in. That just seems crazy. When we can, I want to get the connection set from. So let me let me show you properly. So I want to get the connection from here up to there, right? Basically, right now, all all that is connected through here is the train that goes up to the food line. And having said that, you're possibly going to have to switch to one of these lines or two, I think, mate, because we need all these lines to head up north. Um, the hardest thing's going to be is getting these out uh, up around here uh, unless we actually burrow under 
and somehow join back up to the passenger line and flood through the passenger line and out that way and we might have to double track through here and then out into quad track or something or maybe we just keep it along that line which is not a bad thing some big freight trains going right through the town look at these people have started building in here you can see I've actually adjusted the wall to suit people wanted to build down here so I I uh, I squared it off nicely I, w I would say yeah well this has actually gone way better than I'd hoped in here okay um how do you want to do it? I guess we just have to kind of start. We have to make a start, and then we'll just have to crack on with it later on. So this service actually has two ways of coming around. You come through here, and you do a split. You go this way, and you go around. Now this actually around here is being utilized for the Shinkansen that comes all the way from uh, Rocky which could use an upgrade to the TGV or whatever it's called, I think. Hmm, look at this mess of, of uh, stage. This all needs to be refixed through here. Then we come into where the main oil station is down here. I don't know if many people would have seen this unless they watched the last playthrough. But this is basically a big oil exchange for the fuel and everything that comes in. Gets processed and uh, you can see down here all the processing and pipes and stuff. It has to go through trucks that transport it. Trains need desperate upgrades. Okay, they make good money. They can get a good upgrade. And then, how are we going to bring it in through here? Well, we've got this freight line just here, right? This freight line actually kicks around. Can we get you not that shape? Once auto save goes, we might just fix um, fix the fix this line for a sec. I don't think it should be that shape. Ah, that'd be why it's that shape, Ham. Right, can you just make the tunnel come Yeah, that works. That's better. It's heaps better. Otherwise, you end up with a big wobbly woo. Okay. That works a heck of a lot better through there. Because we're about to we're about to join up to that and pull into this station also. Now you do we just have the one freight there. We do have this utilized here still, which I didn't want to I didn't want to move, but the more I look at it, the more it's going to probably have to become a reality where it gets turned into a uh, bypass or a follow through. Or even a, a stop for the freight and ex and possibly passenger. All right, but so that gives us that run there. So we know that getting through this way is not going to be the hard bit. It's actually going to be getting out of here. Let's give it a go and have a look. Okay. It's no harm in looking, is there? No. And we're going to actually have you stay flat for me, please just to see if we can carve our way through this mountain. No, no, no. See, I think I've just broken everything. I've blown up the game. No, we're all right. We're okay. You're okay. No. Okay, zoom out a bit like that. <sighs> you, you've, you're breaking it. Yep. Right, next bet is to somehow, you could slightly jaunt up, right, and then come over the top, set over the top, no don't do that, that's horrendous. Right, yeah, that's kind of what I had in mind, but not really. So you would come to there like that, go over, and then join up right there. I would have preferred, 
I suppose it could come up here, join up with that, split off this way, or come underneath, split off and join up around that way. Huh. Let's just give this a go for a moment. Right. Okay. So that's our first. You guys can depart from here now. Right. But you will be needed more here. we come like this okay they don't like that understandable you're okay with that though oh, whatever you do you then buddy okay that's fine you'll even go through there I wonder if we start making you go up here though we don't want you to be so aggressive because you don't want steep inclines like that. You want a gradual incline, right? Gradual. And then you're gonna come out of there. Not too humpy, not too frumpy. Just a little humpy. Really ham. No, that's horrible. Okay, try that again. In fact, I've got a better idea. Maybe you'll have to join up down about here. Okay, where you would actually Come in like that. Okay, that's horrible. Um, get rid of that and move that because you have your nice smooth connection there. Could probably just come like this. This is not as easy as you think. <laughs> Trying to make something swoop around and be semi tasteful. You can actually probably stay down for a bit longer. Yep. Okay, bring you there. You're gonna start coming like this. Hey now. Do you need to come out so aggressive? Can we just go like this? How does that look now? Not too bad. I think from here, it's still quite a bit of a hill, isn't it? Uh, might be necessary though, like that. It's okay, because it's, it's still lower here, lower here, but it joins up perfect just here. That's our way out. How many tracks did you put on that? Ooh. Do we have the ability to double track that or do we want to double track it is the question as well. Or are we saving that to potentially go along that way? I don't know why we'd, we would need it to go that way though. It realistically probably should come out here. Unless we need to send some freight trains up into the mountains at any point as well. Oh, now, that's something we hadn't thought of. Sending a freight train from here straight through the middle of the map over to our big freight hub that we built out over here. Coming like that way. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. 
something tasteful to sort of hook our teeth into next time. Mm. Are you going to leave it? Yeah, I am. I am. I think we've got a nice little, we've got a way out and connection anyway that's going to yield us a, a way to get up into Townsville and Penrith and beyond. To infinity and beyond. Join me next time on Transport Fever 2 for some more action. Thanks for joining me today. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for more content, for daily content, uh, except for some weekends where I seem to have a lot of busy weekends this month with birthdays. So I apologize if uh, it's a little bit disjointed around the Saturday, Sunday, Monday periods. I'll try and get my content out daily like I do anyway for you all. Okay, that's it. Are we doing a tracker ride along today? Ooh. Right, our bus service. Let's ride a bus service into the Gold Coast, shall we? Nice little country jaunt. Where are our bus services? Ah, there's actually one heading to the Gold Coast now. Maybe if you turn on. Uh, okay. We'll go from the Gold Coast then, shall we? Okay, we will. I know we rode a bus last time, didn't we? We seem to be doing this a lot lately. Look at that filthy tram. Bloody Gold Coast people don't look after this stuff. Okay, we're gonna ride the bus from Mill Road. Stay safe wherever you are, stay glued to your screen, and I'll see you guys very soon.